let's talk about the use transition hook of react use transition hook used to prioritize ui updates sometimes some ui updates should be performed as quickly as possible while other can have lower priority for example typing an input field would be more important than filtering the list so you specify priority to the input field first and then for filtering the list the use transition hook allows you to specify some state updates as not as important this state update executes in parallel with other state update but the rendering of this component will not wait for this less important state update let me show you a very simple example of use transition so at the top here i'm going to say constant and in the array i'm going to destructure two variables first is is pending and second is start transition is pending is a variable and start transition is a function now let me first import this at the top so i'm going to copy this and right up here i'm going to say import in the object i'm going to say use transition and use state from react so just out of this constant use transition i'm going to say constant count and set count is equal to use state and the initial value of this use state is zero just out of that right down here i'm also going to use use effect so at the top I'm going to say use effect and right down here i'm going to say use effect in the parentheses i'm going to specify an argument and as a first argument i'm going to specify the callback function and then here i'm going to say console.log in the double quote use state trigger and right down here i'm going to say function handle click and this is a type of handler function so inside this div I'm simply going to call a button. So instead of this app, I'm going to call my button here. And to this button, I'm going to specify text, count number, and then print my number here. And just out of that, to this button, I'm going to specify on click event. Inside this handler function, I'm simply going to call this use transition. To call this use transition, I'm going to say here start transition, this function. And inside that, you're going to call a function, something like this. And then I'm going to say here console.log and say use transition trigger. Now let me save the changes and open my console. You can see in the console, I'm going to get use state trigger. This is because when the component is mounted, this use effect is going to execute. Now when I click on this button, you can see it's going to execute this use transition hook. And after that, you're going to have use state. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass here. The second argument to this use effect and inside an array i'm going to pass count just out of that when i click on this handle click i'm going to change the value of this count variable i'm going to call here set count and say count plus one so i'm going to increase the value of this count by one when i click on this handler function reload the browser when i click on this count number it's going to execute use transition and then execute the use state it means when the component is mounted in the ui first the use transition execute and then the use state execute so whenever you want to do some extra work before the state update you can do that inside this start transition now just out of that let me show you one more example at the top what if i create here an object so i'm going to say here constant large list is equal to and i'm going to pass here an array of object so i'm going to copy an array of object and specify that right inside this array just suppose that this is a very large object and then i'm going to specify this large object to this use state this one i'm going to change the name of the state variables to list and set list and then i'm also going to call here another use state and then specify here name and set name and then i'm going to specify the initial value to this use state just out of that let me get rid of this use effect right from here and inside this i will click i'm going to first call set name this set name use state function and then call here e dot target dot value so i'm going to get the value from the event target and value property so what i have to do is i have to pass this handle click to the input element so instead of handle click i'm going to change this to handle change copy this and then i'm going to pass this to the input element so right down here instead of this button I'm going to say here input of type text and then i'm going to specify value name this variable and i'm going to specify here 
on change is equal to and then i'm going to specify this handle change so whenever i type anything inside this input text box i'm going to pass that value to this name variable and then i'm going to get rid of this set count right from here save the changes yeah we need to specify here event parameter save this so i'm going to have the result something like this reload my browser just sort of that when i type something here i'm going to have false as a response from this console.log if i console.log right up here save the changes reload the browser now the default value of is pending is false but when i change something inside this input text box let's suppose if i type here a you can see suddenly the value changes to true and we have here true inside this is pending this is because the default value of this is pending is false but when you call this start transition it's going to change that value to true because this callback function need to be executed before this use state so use transition will automatically change that false value to true and you're going to have true inside this pending variable now what you can do is inside your ui right here you can simply say if you can call here curly braces and here you can say is pending if it is true then return a division tag with loading message or if it is false then you can print your list so i'm simply going to say here list this variable dot map i'm going to call the javascript function map and then i'm going to say here item call the callback function and say here div here i'm going to pass first key item dot id and inside this div i'm going to say in the curly braces item dot product let me save the changes and show you the result reload the browser i'm going to have the list of product inside my ui right here you can note it save this now if i type something here you can see behind the scene the transition is happening and you will have this loading value as a response now what if inside this start transition here if i say set list i'm going to change and specify the value to this list when i type something inside this input text box if i say here large list is object dot filter and i'm going to filter the input value so i'm going to say here item and then here i'm going to say item dot product dot includes if it is includes event dot target dot value then return that so let me just save the changes reload the browser and now if i type here hand you can see it's going to filter the value but the difference is before we specify the value to this use state i'm going to change that value and specify that to this list using this transition so there is nothing special about this hook but you can use this hook to specify priority to your ui components so i hope you understand how to work with the use transition in the react application next let's understand how you can use use defer value hook in the react application